So where does all that come from, right? Like the eat the rainbow, um, you know, food pyramid. Like, like where does all that stuff even come from? It's just been ingrained in our culture for so long. But like, where does it actually stem from? Okay, I got two answers. One is the the recent one is that 1950s we got this whole idea about cholesterol and saturated fat wrong. Mm. And people started having heart attacks. Even the president Eisenhower had a heart attack. And there were also people smoking, and they were actually just getting in all the fake oils and uh, margarine and stuff in the diet. So it kind of makes sense that it was that and mm. more processed foods and smoking. But they blamed it on fat. They blamed it on saturated fat and cholesterol. They just made some mistakes, and that kind of just opened up the door. I think it, looking back now, I think it was kind of driven by certain interests because now you have this whole food industry based on processed foods and low fat. And all that, it's like if you, you don't make any money on Whole Foods. You don't make money selling meat. I, I have a meat company called Nose to Tail and I don't make any money. Uh, can ask Matt. No, I know we're, we're, <laughs> we're like, oh man, we need a better business plan than just selling meat because it's not a big money maker. You know what I mean? There's not a profit yeah. margin on the meat. Then why do you keep doing it? Because I believe in it. Mm. And, you know, I believe in regenerative agriculture and, you know, I think we'll, we'll, we'll find some other like we do beef tallow body care right then you i can make put it, it in my food. hair i use skin food i use hair hold it's great i love it see that has a little bit more of a profit market because it's like we actually have to do some processing it's called value add mm. you know we add so i i quickly understood how the world works once i started nose to tail so most of the money goes to the menu you know the farmer the ranchers and like getting it to people and all the thing there's not a profit margin processed foods a cereal box of cereal i think the box costs more than the cereal <laughs> <laughs> so it's like okay it's like a five or six dollar box of cereal it's like four cents of cheap subsidized grains and sugar and just whatever and huge profit margin so now they do all the marketing right non-stop marketing oh eat your breakfast cereal get kids and like get them early like tony the tiger get your cereal blah blah, blah. right huge marketing push they do studies oh cereal is good for you this is great you need your whole grains then they also do huge lobbying keep the subsidies for grains keep so there's these it's like if you're making billions of dollars, which they are, Kraft Foods, Nestle, Mondelez, the hugest food companies in the world are making billions and billions of dollars, they can continue this message of doing the studies, doing the lobbying, doing the marketing because mm. of the high profit margin on basically cheap, like sugary, carby foods. Mm. Right. So that's why they're that's run, one reason why we are where we are today. So this is a big money in also the subsidy of the grains and the corn, wheat and soy in the U S and it's just big money. It's big industry. Yeah. And then also if you want to go deeper into human history, which I love to do, That's, it, I'm all for it. Let's do it. That, it's, we have this idea. It's, it's kind of the fault. There's a fallback diet. So humans thrive on animal foods. And this is kind of just basic biology. You look at the protein, the fat, it's the bioavailable fat and, and protein that we can use and plant foods are secondary. They're, they're not as good. Right. But throughout history, we've developed this way of living off the non-optimal foods in times of need, fallback diet, survival. It's times you, we couldn't get a hunt or the weather, the whatever's going on. Humans are really adaptable. We live all over the world in all different climates. And so we have this fallback plan and we can survive on plant foods. And so now people have taken that and then turn it into a weight loss plan or thinking that it's health when it actually is not health. It's just a survival diet. Mm. Does that make sense? So if you like zoom way out, it's like meat or nose to tail, especially eating organs, eating all the fat, eating everything. That was our primary nutrition yeah. for most of history, but we have a fallback plan. Now modern people are using the fact that we have this fallback plan as a way to lose weight or get healthy when it's not actually optimal. Thank you.